figure shows white light incident at P on a glass prism. Only the refracted violet ray PQ is shown in the prism. A. On figure, draw rays to complete the path of the violet ray and the whole path of the red ray up to the point where they hit the screen. Label this the red ray. Okay, let's first complete the violet ray. It's clear that one ray is already drawn inside the prism. What happens when this violet ray goes out of the prism? Actually, it's going from dense to rear. That's why it will bend away from the normal. If you want to be accurate, draw the normal to the surface. Then, imagine if this ray was completing normally with no breaking. But remember that this will not happen when light comes from denser medium, which is glass, to the rear, which is air, it will bend away from the normal. So, this is what happened to the violet ray it bends away from the normal. You don't need to keep the extensions and the normal in this question. Now, we want to draw the red ray. As you see, the violet ray in the prism bends towards the normal. This is exactly what will happen to the red ray, but the red ray bends less than the violet ray. So, let's do the same. Let's imagine if the white light was going straight forward with no breaking. The red ray will break towards the normal, but less than the violet. This is from the first surface at point P. Now the case is from dense to rare. So again, let's draw our normal and imagine if the ray was going straight forward. From dense to rare, this ray must break away from the normal. So this is what happened. And let us label it the red light. What you have just seen is if you want to draw it with no mistakes. Or you can simply draw it by eye, without drawing normals or any details. Question B. Why does dispersion occur when white light comes into the glass? Let's understand something here. This is our prism. White light is not a single color. It's a spectrum of seven ranges of colors, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. When they travel together in air, they form together the white light. They all have the same speed in air, 3 times 10 power 8 meters per second. When white light goes into glass, or in other words, when the seven colors hit together the surface of glass, they change direction. This is because now they don't have the same speed. All their speeds have been decreased, with red having the less decrease in speed. That's why it's the fastest in glass, and violet having the greatest decrease in speed. That's why it's the slowest in glass. This difference in speed inside the glass causes different refraction. This different refraction of each color alone is named dispersion of light. So we can say all colors have the same speed in air. When they enter glass, their speed decreases. The speed of violet decreases more than the decrease in red speed. So violet refracts and breaks more than the red.